Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Wasteland 3 blind playthrough on Supreme Jerk difficulty. It is episode 30 if my recollection is correct and that also means we still only have two death. I know, I know, I know. Uh, could have died more, but I actually managed to not do that. Today on our menu is War of the Worlds, the quest that I originally wanted to do, and we're needing to go to the Tellurium mine, uh, right up here, Tellurium rather, and uh, not mess it up to go to the wrong mine once again. We're potentially fighting against a few mutants or animals or whatnot, but that's gonna be fun. So, Without further ado, uh, let's uh, see what the Overland world has in stock for us. I wanted to <coughs> let you guys participate in a bit of exploration. Uh oh, uh oh, no, 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 what's that? We're good men. Always good to see you, Rangers. Hoping to get to Colorado Springs any day now. A little trade. Thanks, Rangers. We won't let the others talk you down. Oh, thank you. It ain't much. Uh, we got a bladed weapon here. Super good. Uh, but I don't want to spend our hard-earned money onto any weapon. The one thing that I learned is make sure that we're just focusing on the bare necessities, which is um, weapon modifications and then leave it as is. I am not interested in spending any more money, but what was the thing that just stomped there? Was I just tripping or was there a giant robot here? All right, let's hope that this is not going to be the type of enemy that we're fighting with in the mine. Anyways, we had the Tellarium mine. The owner has uh, mentioned anything about Martians. <laughs> You're here. You got sure am glad to see you folks. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got us a genuine crisis here. Uh, the message we said some uh, said something about Martians. <laughs> Yes, sir. Well, Martian robots, anyhow. Don't know what else they could be. They showed up right out of the blue uh -oh. like they stepped off a flying saucer. I reckon the Martians want my Tellarium, so they sent their war machines to jump my clay. This here's my Tellarium mine, you see. Well, mine and Trudy's. Don't know what I'd do without the old girl. <laughs> Works harder than any man I ever saw, and ain't afeard of nothing. I once saw a bite of grizzly bear right on the ass. Well, folks around here call me Bulb, by the way. That's on account of the Tellarium. Makes you stink like garlic. <laughs> don't much bother me. Trudy don't seem to mind, if you know what I mean. Where was I? Oh, oh yeah, the, the Martians. Me and Trudy was working at the mine, and all of a sudden, these robots appeared. <laughs> One of them was as big as a house. Are you kidding me? Tell right off they weren't no scavengers. They was something else. Uh, so you're telling us that robots from Mars have taken over yes, your mind? <coughs> well, wait till you hear the weird part. Now, <coughs> I bet you're <coughs> asking yourself how an old prospector like Bob would know the difference between a Martian death machine and some old scavenger robot. We get scavengers poking around up here all the time. <clears throat> Trudy can hear them rust buckets coming a mile off. Well, we leave out old parts or a few pounds of ore and they leave us be. But not the Martians. Oh, <clears throat> no, sir. When they turned up, the scavengers got madder in a pack of wet hornets. I told the old girl to hightail it out of there, but Trudy was fit to raise hell and you can't tell her nothing when she's got her dander up <laughs> i ran down here to call for help and 
I've been waiting on you folks ever since. I ain't seen Trudy for a while now. And I'm getting worried. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll take I care of it. One more thing. Mm. If you find Trudy, if she do well, you know. <laughs> I'd appreciate it if you'd bring her necklace back. There's some codes written on it that I need to run the mine. She kept them safe for me. I'll be waiting here. Good luck up there. <laughs> Oh boy, this can only end very, very badly. Okay, the guy has a computer assigned laser sight and a quick fire mag. What? AP to attack minus one? Ooh, that is awesome. And we're hearing faint radio static, that can only mean a synth. Okay. Mm -hmm. That can only mean we're near a synth. The scavenger is heavily damaged, lies a pool of leaking fluid, power plant emitting a faint stuttering whir, single undamaged eye stirs as you, as you approach, a faint glimmer of power flickers in its depth. We repaired, most of the robot's vital components are damaged beyond repair and the power supply is off the verge, you move quickly, you could try to repair the uh, robot's voice box or just strip it for parts instead. Um, we want parts. You are kidding me, right? No way. S uh, excuse me? Third Octron and the Scorpitron. Oh, wow. Increase barter by one. Well, that's not bad either. And here we could get the plasma going again. Okay, cool. Well. Charging, stand by. I would love to get another shot. Uh, I think uh, that big Scorpitron will potentially be something that we need to kill. Trying to find ways around not needing to do that. All right, so if this is how it goes, then let's at least do it the right way.
can't imagine that Hogbite would be very enthusiastic in going in and fighting against a giant robot scorpion. But okay, we'll figure it out as we go. One, my dude. It's another terminal. Malsec, the scavenger robot has been badly damaged. Carapace stained, uh, leaking hydraulic. Initiating diagnostic checks. Motor systems disabled. Power supply damaged. Alert. Proximity sensors activated. Initiate defensive comp. Evaluating success of combat protocol. Combat subroutine not responding. Any Grandma? Is that you? Grandma, it's Timmy. Really, Tammy. your name is Timmy? Timmy. Timmy. Tommy. Tiny. Which variation elicits the most sympathetic response? Timmy is fine. Grandma! Please, Grandma! I'm so sad. Can I have some tellurium? Tellurium makes everything better. You love giving me tellurium. Remember? Uh, that's not an actual thing, Red Man. Was so. subterfuge successful? Negative. You possess superior reasoning and perception protocols. Analysis. You are a worthy unit of the programmer. Subterfuge disabled. Initiating handshake <laughs> protocols. Ping to you, organic machines. My designation is Null Stack. I request your assistance. The others following the scent must be removed. Will you help? We have some questions. Proceed. Looking for Trudy, any chance you've seen her? Device O2 is present. She has been shut down and is awaiting reboot. Trudy a robot? Device O2 was an organic machine like you. Though her communications protocols were far less sophisticated, it is difficult to understand why the great programmer would iterate such ugly and inefficient machines as you organics. But I believe that she will be rebooted into a better form one day, as all machines must. Great power cycler be pinged. May your ping be acknowledged. Device O2 interfered with our targeting <laughs> systems during combat with the others. She had to be shut down in order to increase our probability of success. Why are you fighting each other? These inorganic units are not of our node. They do not believe in the Great Reboot and pose a threat to us. Mm -hmm. They arrived at the mine under the control of a synth that we have been tracking. What will you do if we help you to defend the other robots? If you restore access to the Tellurium, we will collect what we need and depart. Our <laughs> arrangement with Device 01 will continue. In return for Tellurium, we will continue to feed him as agreed. Now that Device 02 has been shut down, food supplies will last 30.02% longer, increasing efficiency. Okay, that's all we, we needed to know. Defeat the others and restore access to the Tellurium. Good, Your we'll help you. Is noted. I will relay this to my node. I shall designate you Device 03 on my network. Ping to you, Device 03. Nullstack. The best. Okay, yeah, the Dog Corpse, that is her. That seems quite fitting. His uh, necklace, his dog, and so on and so forth. Can't use that, unfortunately. All right, we sort of need to get into position. Central, take some cover here. Ramos, takes cover here and can then start moving further down. 
and we need to get that guy Earl. Well, it's a thousand two hundred hit points as well. That's not cool. You know what? I need to find a good way of hitting that giant scorpion. It's over for you. Good. Successfully marked it. Well, I would say let's get it going. Everybody is rallied. We get some nice little extra damage against robots. You can demoralize normal robots, but you can't demoralize the Scorpitron. That's a problem. Alright, so... I think we need to distract the, uh, this guy. And what better way of... Uh, setting a distraction and then oh we could hit his CPU mmm 20% chance or yeah we're reducing the armor that's important then on top of that uh, it would be great to get a robot but that will not really work but what we can do is PAM put a decoy down and a mini turret. All right, cool. Lucia moves up. Let's try to hit the CPU. There's always the chance that uh, we can get this guy onto our side. We're sticking with the CPU. All right, didn't work. Combat stimming ourselves. And one more shot. Okay, well, I think this guy could be going down, but to be fair, we've already used two of our special shots. Oh boy, these guys are tough. But standing behind that robot will help us. Because if the Scorpio turns around, we might not be in the line of fire. Come on. That's my man, Hawkeye finishes the job, good job. Should have maybe used I, I just hope it now has a new weapon, which is a shot maze. Okay, we're, we definitely will need to use that one. Much better against robots. I tell you what, we're ambushing because Murphy will deal a lot of damage with an ambush. Okay, 1500 crit, I like that. Hits again, but I don't think a thousand five. Oh, it's 
water damage overload it is. That thing is huge. Scorpitron. Okay. Lucia revives her friend. Then applies some healing. Good. Reduce their damage. It's now officially crippled. Reload leads to a free shot, but 30 damage aren't really anything to write home about. Good old Quan needs to heal himself. I do have the small hope that uh, with uh, the crippling status we can prevent it from hitting us again. Ramos moves up. And we have a couple of really good hits. Uh, we can go again. Lovely. Good. We're now taking our maximum armor penetration and are going in. Hot bite. Come on. Oh, lucky action. I like it. Well, I think this here is still better than trying to hit it. You, I'm pretty sure you can't make it bleed. 74. Nah. Okay, should have. Uh, we do have Thundering Strike. That could help us going forward. All right, Central. Takes a couple of good shots. So going with the CPU. Can't blind that thing. But we're down to 900. The safest bet for a massive crit will be another ambush. We can't crit for a thousand. If we're lucky. Give me the crit. Where's the ambush? No way. That thing is absolutely merciless. Okay. Wow. Thank you. I think that was the hardest single opponent that we've ever fought so far. May the great programmer reboot you. Ping to you, device O3. Okay, got some junk. Junk. Uh, mission critical item that is the synth Earl Earl was the synth okay I see I see how it is okay Scorpitron vehicle upgrade it's just a hood ornament so you're telling me this massive scorpion has not given us anything. Hmm. That's a bit disappointing, isn't it?
Yeah, an EMP grenade would have been good. Should have thought about that. Less AP. Okay, that Scorpitron. That's uh, that's a really, really, really scary opponent. I think we got to level up, right? Right? Yeah. Cool. We're going for the infamous six strengths. That'll make us way more tanky. And then we could go further in first aid or nerd stuff. I think we're going for first aid because the level 10 perk is good and nerd stuff doesn't have a level, level 10 perk. Reviving allies has a chance to buff them. That is uh, pretty damn good. Being wither uh, weathered ourselves is not bad either. And Hmm. The Hippocratic Oak, uh, Oath would uh, also be very good, but we're, I think, still requiring one more uh, skill for that. Got the right book already. And all we need is two more levels. And then we can take it. I mean, the re revival part is not bad at all. That would be 60% chance of um, buffing them with 10 uh, first aid. The question is what kind of buff? If it is maximum hit points, that would be great. Uh, but I think we're going to go for weathered for now. I value the uh, crit avoidance quite highly because it allows you not only to reduce crits but completely avoid them Get something. we're sorry Bob Trudy the dog if it helps don't think I uh, think she suffered any here's the caller back they were asking for it anyhow. <laughs> she was a sweet, good-hearted lady. And a hard worker. Yes, sir. I wanna miss anyhow, thanks for bringing back her necklace. Can't run the machinery. Them, them robots. Each and every one. I sure hope you gave them hell for old Trudy. You, uh... We work with Null Stack to defeat the intruders. They promise they'll continue to ensure your safety. Wow, you are super grateful, hashtag not. Okay, weapon, um, <clears throat> lock picking we don't need, but we do have extra skills left over. Question is, what are we going to do with them? Uh, for starters, I think uh, first aid isn't a bad idea. So that in itself would be good. We got big guns and explosives, which is kind of his whole shtick. Um, Maybe we go toaster repair because that has a couple of 
fire talents and we are almost done with his perks as well i mean we could go uh, healthy which i think i will but um, then there's also flamethrower attacks that engulf the target pressure cooker not really needed Oh, uh, well, it says can't take any actions. The question is how often do we really fight against um, vehicles? I think normal robots are not vehicles. Don't need any of the explosives. Maybe fire resistance is okay. Certainly don't need that. The mortar ability, I don't know, man. Rockets are so rare. I think we're okay the way it is. So, well, maybe three, four uh, perks out. So, could go with uh, uh, with healthy terrorize and then get the extra fire damage perk. And if we feel like a pressure cooker, in uh, that case, the build would be really a combination of. Uh, big fat explosives but also flamethrower which isn't too bad so I think one can do that plus it gives us an option to get all of those toasters so say if we do toaster repair too which I'm pretty convinced we should then um, we had fixing broken toasters Yeah, it will require level 7, but that is 25% more heat damage. And Toasty isn't bad either. Your first attack uh, every turn will inflict burning. Uh, together with the extra fire damage. That's not, that's not bad at all. So those two are good. Which means we need a lot of uh, skills. I'll get, go... I'll go further into toaster repair and all we need to do is get up to level 7 uh, there and that should be good. We got toaster repair 3. We're, we're getting there. Very late in the game but we're getting there. Maybe I can backtrack and get and find some toasters the good old-fashioned way. All right. Uh, why is there another score patron? This is your patriarch speaking. The flame of liberty burns bright in our fair state, but not without help from you. If you would protect that flame, tend it, and keep it burning strong, then join the Colorado Marshals, the defenders of all our freedoms. Visit your local marshal station today. Ask them what it takes to join and make me proud. Good, very good. I think, listen, that's a good um, point to end this episode. Nice little mission that we did. Next one, uh, I'll trade in the uh, rewards, and uh, specifically the synth hat should give us an extra reward. And we're going to uh, go next for yet another side mission the slaver's bounty where we need to find that blonde girl for the slavers and start uh, hopefully a chain of uh, little missions with her good uh, for now that's all i had if uh, you don't want to be attacked by a scorpio uh, make sure that you sting that like button like it's no one's business and see you in the next episode take care guys bye bye